For the beef bowl, it's more of like, you know, strong beefy taste and that creamy egg yolk texture that binds them together. A simple, heartwarming kind of bowl. Nothing fanciful at all. I'm Genji and I'm 27 years old this year. I'm one of the owners at Kinobe. I'm Ben, I'm 28 this year and I'm also one of the owners from Kinobe. We are from the same secondary school actually, so since secondary school we were quite close already. Yeah. It's a running idea ever since our teenage years to come out and do something together. So we first started Kinobe on 12th of November 2018. We are only actually handling lunch crowd. So we need to actually be fast. That's why beef bowl and pork bowl is something that we feel that we can cook fast and do fast uh, and serve fast as well. We frequent Japan at least twice a year or thrice a year. So every time we go there, you know, it's not possible for me to say, you know, I have a craving and I want to go there. So when we are back in Singapore, we just simply look it up online. And that's how we started off with like the basic recipe online. And then slowly we took from there. We started with two items in the menu. And then recently, we relaunched ourselves with a total of four more items. So right now, we have six items. Yeah, our main seller right now is the chicken don, as well as the gyudon. The gyudon history is all the way back, and it's meant to be a very simple food. It used to be for people that are poor, but right now, it's mainly just a quick and effective lunch. It's a very simple rice bowl that consists of rice, and then onions, as well as the beef. But for us, we decided to add in the egg, because I feel that the egg is the one that is binding the rice, the the meat and everything together. We use US beef chocolate. So for every bowl, it comes approximately with 100 gram of meat. Actually, the most tiring part is making the soup base itself. So we have to actually you know, wake up early, like you say, come over here, start boiling the soup. And that probably takes four hours. And then the chicken is white meat. So it's easier for people to accept. Some people, they are unable to eat pork, unable to eat beef. So the substitute itself is the chicken. For the chicken, we actually uh, marinate the chicken ourselves. And after that, we sous vide. Then before serving out, we actually flame it. We also marinate the Wagyu beef for the Wagyu bowl. The Wagyu one is because we want to provide something that people want. Because a lot of customers coming in and surprisingly, they are always asking for Wagyu. So we are thinking, why not? So that's the reason why we input Wagyu inside our menu. For us, the reason why we do this is because we are young. I don't want to be 50 years old and I look back and regret and say, you know, I, I wasn't even ballsy enough to give it a try since we have lesser to lose and right now it's a very good time for both of us.